Hi, I'm, uh, I'm not Niall Rackra or Smart. Um, I'm representative of MUSFAC, we're a free person uh, collective in the political sense of what a collective is and that leads sort of, um, a lot, all of our work is produced collaboratively, platforms for others, usually for a newspaper or through like a new exhibition space or workspace um, and that leads me to what tonight's all about. Um, the group uh, Kill the Beast Collective uh, came to us when we were in the middle of our uh, Edward Eastside residency and asked us to put on a show of their work because they weren't allowed to show it somewhere else. Um, due to its political themes and that sort of got us straight away. Also the whole fact that like, a group of students came to us on a Friday when they should be in bed was a big thing for us. So uh, basically we, we said we'll come and work with us and we'll facilitate the show and that's what tonight is, is, is us facilitating their show and sort of, a, sort of an opening up and saying that we're here and this is our first, this is our first event here and it's nice that our, because of our whole idea about, about giving a platform to others that our first event is an event for other people, not our work. So we've got a whole programme of events coming up in January, but this is the first. So I hope you enjoy the day. This is Kill the Beast, Cut His Don't Spill His Blood exhibition at The Edge by Friction Arts. This exhibition was set up between Muzzfat Collective and KTB, who are Birmingham City University fine arts students in their second year. We have used the quote, Kill, his, Kill the Beast, Cut His Don't Spill His Blood, as a basis for interpretation. Everyone has interpreted this quote in order to see how they are affected by the Cold War and afterwards in today's society and in their own particular personal lives. generally based around the idea of the primitive sections of man, such as the savagery behind war and ideals about society. The reason I decided to eat raw piece of meat is because eating meat is such a practical, like, a primitive way of eating. And it's the idea of eating it in a new modern setting, it's that we have never really changed. And that is the beast, is that our savage and primitive emotions are still there. taking part in the Killer Beast exhibition today here at Edge and um, this here is um, a collaboration with the Big Buzz Park and we created um, our own zines like some here like encouraging viewers to make their own zines and their own responses to their quote Killer Beast quote is very expensive and then Buzz Park on their own zine and then we um, brought together our own personal zines that we have collected over time um, a lot of them being right girl and punk themes and um, exploring the issues that are present within that scene. And this is my how to do. Basically, this has little diagrams and encourages audiences to create their own responses and how to distribute that and topics they can include. I've created a 
few pieces for this collection. Um, I wanted to base my work basically on the theme of the atmosphere, how I felt when I was reading the um, reading passage in the book and watching the film. Um, I created this by manipulating different materials by using fire, dirt and quite earthy and organic pieces. Hollingworth and this is my piece. Um, it's a collection of small oil paintings and it's based on the theme of uh, herb mentality and it's meant to represent um, a kind of crowd scenario and some of the uh, figures are slightly obscured to represent the kind of anonymity of a crowd and that's what it's about. Okay, I am Kathy Wade. I work with level five, level four and level six students over at Margaret Street doing all things contextual and essay related. I'm really quite overwhelmed. I totally am. In one of those ways that it's actually quite rare to come into a space and really immediately just get a sense of something you want to engage with kind of happening at this particular level. So I think it's just a really, really lovely thing to see work that's made a journey out of the studio space and that's actually just entered into a different space and it really seems to put together this kind of life or all of this conversation between things that are happening. So it's a really, really lovely show and I am quite overwhelmed by it. <laughs>